So it's Saturday, March the 16th. A few things I wanted to address. I was hoping to leave all that kind of shit out in children's group and like kind of aside for the time being. But obviously there's a severe um, effort to kind of prevent me from fucking putting information out that they, that they don't want me putting out there. Like I could argue with all these kind of clowns that are following me from A to B and uh, realistically it would get me nowhere, do you know what I mean? It's taking up my time, basically. And it's taking me eye off the ball, which doesn't in any way kind of help me. So it is what it is. But look look at the social pressures now and the social like um, campaign in an effort to exclude me. Nobody wants to fucking hear what I have to say though, do you know what I mean? That whole stuff, right, up in children's group like, should have been investigated. And this is not something I wanted to keep talking about because I have other stuff to deal with, but I'm going to keep talking about it. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to be prevented from speaking the truth. Do you know what I mean? To cover the corruption which is going on. Like Mr. Halligan and co needs to be brought in front of a fucking tribunal or at least a commission of investigation. And that's regardless of any fucking like Garda influence. Do you know what I mean? Not fucking influence from like. Um, politicians who are in power at the moment pulling strings for him, do you know what I mean? Or because of the fact he's an ex-mayor or ex-fucking minister. All of that should be irrelevant based on the stuff that has gone on up there, do you know what I mean? And if anything, it actually highlights the dangers of high-profile people and how they can influence and corrupt fucking cases. Like you have his sister, Mary Halligan, up the children's group. Now I ain't going out on a limb here by naming people here. So if I'm defaming people or slandering people, they can take a case against me. But this woman is privy to multiple allegations, multiple al allegations and accusations that went on up there throughout the years, throughout the years. Do you know what I mean? And I myself actually walked up there one time while a certain individual was up there grooming a fucking girl up there and she's standing there, she rolling her eyes because he was at it again. Do you know what I mean? Like that was the whole kind of, that was the way that was handled up there. And this went on for years. So that whole kind of like, so the whole kind of name, it, the Mary Halligan Foundation, the last couple of years, that's a fucking smokescreen. And it's nothing more than a smokescreen. And it's a long overdue that somebody called this out. But I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out, there you have Mary Halligan, right? Right, that's one person. Right? She needs to be brought in front of a tribunal, or at least, like, there should be an investigation. Why is there nobody else calling for an investigation into all of this? Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you now, she, she was privy to multiple fucking allegations, accusations. And when questioned on it, I'm pretty sure she'll turn around and say, oh yeah, she might have heard this or she might have heard that. And they'll try and sweep that under the carpet. Then you have Ray Halligan, right? Another brother, right? Caught on camera, caught on camera, right? Trying to pass a threat regarding the investigation that was going on up there. Do you know what I mean? Now, if that was anyone else, you'd be fucking brought before the court. You'd be charged, arrested, brought before the court. But what if our Gary looked the other way to facilitate this fucking family yet again? Do you know what I mean? So if nothing else, it shows you that what if our Gary are like basically not following fucking protocol. Do you know what I mean? Yet again, they get a fucking pass. And then you have Henry Halligan, right? Out in Ballybeg Church at the moment, they're hiding out in Ballybeg Church. Now this person the fear of my mother's funeral, do you know what I mean? But we'll put that aside for one minute, even though I'm not letting that fucking go, being honest with you. But we put it aside for one minute. I sent private emails to a priest who was a family friend. He got these emails, he was the church secretary, and he passed them back to David Conlan, because David Conlan was mentioned in the fucking emails, because I, I also included the friend request that he sent me, wife, do you know what I mean, which they tried to lie their way out of. But, uh, but it shows you the connection between the Halligans and fucking David Conlan, do you know what I mean? And there's not a grave, and there's not a gravy train in Waterford that fucking Davy Conlan won't jump on, do you know what I mean? Hence the reason he's using the same blueprint that got John Halligan the fucking most votes in Waterford, which which coincidentally David Conlan has got the most fucking votes in Waterford, do you know what I mean? Do you think all of this is a coincidence that the same network voted for fucking both these people, do you know what I mean? And what in return did the Halligans get, we wonder? Like, why shouldn't that be called out? So that's three of them. And that's only the stuff we can talk about, remember? That's only the stuff we can legally talk about. Do you know what I mean? There's a whole other fucking, like, scenario which we can't talk about over for legal reasons. But I will talk about it. I'm aware I'll probably get myself in trouble over it. Like, but um, it's a civic duty. Like, the board, right, of children's grouping, the fucking board members, right, were aware of what was going on in it. Because there was that many, and it was spanning over that many years, right? And what they done is they placed him 
around girls multiple, multiple times after the fucking multiple accusations. They placed him around the girls, do you know what I mean? They try and discredit the other girls. That's what they've done. So that board, right, I've been reading up and that the board of management of Open Children's Group Link is legally responsible for his fucking actions. The fact that they tried to put him into politics in the last couple of years, despite knowing of all the fucking allegations, do you know what I mean? That alone like, will show you the way they look down the fucking nose on people, do you know what I mean? Like, like why? When you have that many allegations, right, and accusations, like why is that not being investigated? And they say I wasn't reported, I was reported, there was no statements given, there was statements given. There was shitty cases sent up to the DPP to f facilitate, do you know what I mean, and not bring certain people to justice. That's exactly what fucking happened. But even if you can say, well, he wasn't charged with it. Well, fair enough. Well, you were aware of his actions then. You were still aware of his actions, of his multiple, multiple actions. Do you know what I mean? So you're aware of what he was doing and you still fucking promoted him and put him around girls to discredit him and try to put him into politics. So that shows you as a whole, do you know what I mean, what this group of people is like. And they're everything that's fucking wrong with politics, with charities and their involvement in the Catholic fucking church. Like you have a charity, you have a charity being used like it's a fucking family owned business. You can go back to the public records and see the employees up in that charity and you can see it's been run like it's a family owned fucking business. The nepotism that has gone on in that charity, like this is all like public information. You can go, you can google it, I can google it, do you know what I mean? You can see and you see who was on the board of management time and time again, do you know what I mean? And then um, eventually, when I will read like certain messages and emails, you will see the same two or three names coming up over and over again. Do you know what I mean? There's a whole kind of like weird psychology shit. Do you know what I mean? Based on this Anne Carey employed by Waterford Tussle. Do you know what I mean? This is supposed to be some moral fucking issue. This is um, whereas the same set of morals regarding the stuff from children's group. Like, do you know what I mean? So it shows you it's not really a moral issue. Do you know what I mean? There's more to it than that, do you know what I mean? And I'm offering evidence regarding anything I say, but nobody seems to want to take the evidence. Do you know why? Because they know what evidence I'm offering. It will eventually reach a pinnacle where I'll probably face some kind of criminal kind of proceedings, but they don't really want to do that because I'd have to have fucking legal assistance to get that, do you know what I mean? Well, if you notice, I can't get any legal assistance, do you know what I mean? Whereas if I was an immigrant or if I identified as a pink fucking horse, you would tiptoe around me fucking human rights. Like you haven't... You have the network, right, which voted John Halligan, right, in the power, which re he received the most number of votes in Waterford, right? That same network voted in Davy Conlan. Do you know what I mean? You think that's just a coincidence? Do you know what I mean? You think it was his political intellect or his fucking charisma that got him that, into that kind of position? And then in return, then you have Henry Halligan passing private emails back to Davy Conlan. So there's the weird connection there. And then along with all of that, you have so many girls who are threatened by the IRA, do you know what I mean? And then you have, there's a whole social kind of shit going on here in Waterford at the moment. And a lot of it is the use and abuse of the Sinn Féin network, again, to facilitate, do you know what I mean, the likes of David Conan, so he gets to hide behind the party and he gets to have his actions hidden. His relationship with John Halligan also needs to be scrutinised. They need to be called before the fucking tribunal. Like, is that charity not a, of public interest? It is, is it not? It's a charity. So why is there not an investigation that's of public interest as well? Do you know what I mean? Because there's multiple, there's multiple fucking like mishandling, like breaches in protocol, breaches in code of ethics, code of conduct. You have girls, right, that were told by Waterford Gary, don't be sharing their story. Do you know what I mean? That they might potentially be called as a witness. Do you know what I mean? Now, what, so how many of you were called for a witness now? Realistically, were you even told he was in court? I don't know the answer to this, but ask around, ask around each other, like, do you know what I mean? So why would Waterford Gardaí be fucking lying to you? Would it be the same reason that they cover for Ray Halligan, Ray Halligan got caught fucking uh, on camera trying to pass a threat? Would it be that reason by any chance? Because they're, cause he's the brother of fucking John Halligan. And I'm past the stage of people like fucking of me trying to prove myself right, do you know what I mean? Because they don't want to prove me right. But at the same time, they don't want to prove me wrong either. Like, that alone is a major red flag, do you know what I mean? It's no coincidence, right, that the members in Waterford City Council covering up the shit went down down there, Roisin, Dorothy, Leo, Kennedy, getting cost searching me mothers. That was all covered up by Joe Daniels. It's no coincidence that the same people that are mixing with Waterford Garrity, certain members of Waterford Garrity, not all, but it's the same, but it's the same group of the same cronies attached to David Cullinan, do you know what I mean? 
you have a solicitor that was involved in the case, she's caught red-handed. There's documented proof, right, shown that she fucking, she lied, she deceived her client and she deceived the judge. Now, there's documented proof of this. It shows she caught herself out in her own lies, thinking that oh, I wasn't going to get my emails back, which I did. But the documents are there. They're all still there. And she gets her actions covered. By who? Members of fucking who? Sinn Féin. And I and I know this probably seems like I'm attacking Sinn Féin. I'm not. I don't have any issue with Sinn Féin as a party. Well, actually, I do politically at the moment. I think they're pissing our history up against the wall, to be honest with you. But uh, it's just a certain, there's a few members in Waterford, high-profile members that are hiding behind the party in Waterford. You have Anne Carey, the psychologist, who wrote myself and my ex into this fucking weird religion that fucking she was recruiting for this Baha'i religion. I've uploaded previously. If you go back to two or three of my uploads on TikTok, it shows I've shown documents to show that this is actually true. So I'm not that paranoid or I'm not fucking making things up because that shows what I'm speaking about is actually true. Do you know what I mean? But she covered for Tussle. And then you have Tussle then who's aware of what she done for Tussle. So Tussle, again, there's documents there showing what Tussle like fucking are aware of. Do you know what I mean? But when have you ever seen anyone from Tussle being held accountable or being brought to a courtroom? Do you know what I mean? Very, very seldom. Do you know what I mean? If ever. Like Roisin Doherty and Leo Kennedy. They got cast out to my mother's bedroom. Do you think I'd make something like that up? Do you know what I mean? Dates, times and fucking like, do you know what I mean? Events. Do you know what I mean? My mother rang me, she rang my brother. That's a fact, 100% fact. And these two scumbags get their actions fucking covered up by Joe Daniels. The same Joe Daniels who convinced myself and my wife to move into a house up in Barrick Street. After I was at the reporting that my ex was after meeting with the fucking neighbours and he was, and he told us, oh, I was only somebody trying to spoke, you move into the house. So we moved in. Within like three or four weeks, my ex came down, dropped the kids down. Up to that point, she wouldn't let me see the kids. I should have fucking smelled her up, being honest with you. But as soon as she dropped the kids down, as soon as she goes back, she dropped the kids down on a Friday, went back, I think, on the Sunday. And um, all this pornography shit was spread again by the neighbours who also canvassed for Davy Conan. Like, water for Gary's failure in all of this throughout the years. Like, it's too long to go into. I, will, I am going to speak about all of this. Which, if you know what I'm trying to speak about it, they're doing everything and that and to fucking discredit me and destroy me. Like, I'm aware that all this shit has been spread around fucking tattoos, fucking motorcycle clubs, GAA clubs, fucking Gary. Like, I'm aware this is all over the place. And this is where it should be. It should, should go all over the place. Do you know what I mean? Because if nothing else, it shows you that something is being fucking hidden. Do you know what I mean? And if I'm willing to go to a court or face any kind of investigation, why aren't they? And this is where they say, oh, well, it was illegally done and it was a moral issue. Well, it was a moral issue. Why wasn't the same shit dealt with fucking up in children's grouping? So it's not really a moral issue. You have GSOC refusing to properly deal with me case. They didn't even refuse. They just ignored me. And then you have Helen McEntee, who's aware that GSOC already wrote me, apologising for mixing up my case. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll give you one recent event, right? My mail was opened. They found a GSOC wrote to me regarding the findings of the case and it, it was sent to water for Gary. Don't ask me how, but it was sent up there, right? They held on to the letter for 21 days. It was sent down onto me, but the letter was opened. Obviously, somebody read the letter to see what was in it, gave it to his secretary and said, here, post that down to him. Except the secretary put the letter with the envelope that was opened in another envelope. Do you know what I mean? So like it shows that they had the letter for three weeks. Do you know what I mean? Now GSOC is aware of all this and they won't look into it. Like that alone will show you what's going on. Like I still have all, all these documents are all still available when I'm speaking. Of. Like this is difficult to speak about, obviously. Like um, if you notice with all this kind of social pressures, it makes it a lot more difficult. Let me just speak about There's no one trying to fucking, I'm past, as I said, I'm past the stage of trying to get anyone to try and like prove me that I'm right. Do you know what I mean? But pr prove that I'm wrong. Do you know what I mean? Uphold your good name. Do you know what I mean? Like, prove me that I'm wrong. And you have John Halligan, right? Mixed with David Conan pulling every fucking string in Waterford at the moment in an effort to try and kind of like suppress this information. Along with Waterford Council. Let's, let's not forget about them. Do you know what I mean? And then Waterford Gardy. So you could imagine how widespread this is. I uploaded stuff out recently about that gang stalking, which I've been talking about, and I'm sure nobody fucking believed me, but there you go, it shows that what I was talking about, it was again true. This is what's been done, it's called gang stalking. As I speak here now, there's a clown up over me, and he follows me everywhere around the fucking apartment, like tap, 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 all this shit. He's only stopping there now because he's had to hear me talking about it a few minutes ago. 
and then um, I speak further about all that gang stalking because uh, it really needs talking because you won't believe like the fucking methods that's been used and this has been fucking pushed by Tussle by this psychologist and Carrie this is all her idea now all this weird shit do you know what I mean like why she's all for them making sure that people don't have any privacy and stuff while she hides her own fucking privacy and the fact that she was ran out of Kerry because they thought that she was fucking involved in the cult by her own family do you know what I mean she's not quick about fucking like exposing any of that recruiting for the religion that's known to manipulate deceive and lie to people do you know what I mean and she's 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 employed by our fucking health service but then again I could be lying so if I'm an investig so if I'm lying investigate show me to be a lawyer and it's a win-win situation you get to bring me to court do you know what I mean like all of this needs to be taken in front of a judge which is the only thing I'm trying to do I'm trying to get this in front of a judge do you know what I mean I'm trying to fucking like um, I tried to go through the whole due process and follow protocol and everything and uh, while well, if our council took 90% of me file they have got rid of it, deleted it, the solicitor done the same, deleted it, do you know what I mean? Like I could go on, there's multiple holes throughout this case, do you know what I mean? Anything that shows me to be speaking the truth has vanished or gone missing, do you know what I mean? And if that was the other way around it, let's just say cab brought you to court and they wanted to see a document and you fucking uh, purposely uh, deleted the document, that would be like taken as a sign of guilt. Do you know what I mean? So why is it not the other way around? But there's a major push there now, as you can tell. Um, anyone in Waterford will know, anyone outside of Waterford uh, won't know. And it's an effort to suppress this information. I'm open to any kind of investigation. You can investigate all the stuff about me first, do you know what I mean? But you won't report that, because people are a bunch of fucking cowards, do you know what I mean? Realistically. They like to run in their crowds, because there's a bit of fucking uh, strength in numbers. And this will be pushed by Anne Carey out in Tramwater. Yeah, but I've been pointing out stuff regarding children's group link. How if he was even on the grounds with an ongoing investigation up there, that they purposely, fucking purposely, put him around fucking the girls, knowing what he was potentially after them. Do you know what I mean? So the board of management is accountable. They're legally responsible. They're actually legally responsible. I've read up on this. Using the charity, like it's a fucking family owned business. Go check all this up. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to just leave it there now for uh, for now. I'm obviously going to be making more videos, which I have been doing. I'll try and be more fucking concise and try and use less bad language. Apologies for the bad language. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be deterred by this. and I'm not going to back down from it. So it is what it is. So onwards and upwards. And if anyone can share these videos or kind of subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it. Do you know what I mean? You can always block me then afterwards. I'm only trying to get this information out there. And you can make your own minds up afterwards. Do you know what I mean? But they don't want you making your own minds up. They're too busy waving shit in your face so that you don't look at the draw. So that you don't really look at what their actions really are hiding. Like how many TDs, right? And how many councillors and senators are aware and what was covered up and what was always covered up over two decades and we're quite happy to rub shoulders with certain people do you know what i mean because they furthered their career and that's essentially what's going on here now do you know what i mean but as i said john halligan and co needs to be called in front of a commission of investigation or a, a tribunal one of these that should all be investigated that charity is of public interest so the investigation should be of public interest do you know what i mean they're clearly trying to hide something yeah, so I'll leave it there. So have a good St. Patrick's Day and thanks.